mix. So yesterday I meant to think of a mini idea and record one, but instead I spent most of the day reading. I read Keeping Faith by Jodi Picoult, which I really loved. Um, but since I did not devote like time to thinking about what to do, I thought maybe I'd just show you this birthday present I got the other week from a coworker who was very, very kind, which was a box full of cat themed bookmarks. So, so many cat themed bookmarks. I can barely fit them all in the frame of this phone camera. Really too kind. Also, don't know how I could possibly be reading this many books at once and not be confused. We'll do a close up on some of them. Do 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 do. Hope you appreciate your elevator music. Um, I mean, I feel very dorky doing that, and maybe I should have just found actual music to put here, but I definitely did not did not do that. I do. I really appreciate like the different personalities and varieties of all these cats. This one makes me think of teacher cat sitting in front of a rug with lots of kindergartners on it. This cat really reminds me of our friend Mariah. It has a lot of trees. It looks really happy and cozy and next to its plant. It's just a good cat. This cat who's just not paying attention to you while they're reading is probably me. Or potentially this cat that has fallen asleep on books and surrounded by books. Our other option for Sleepy Sarah Cat is obviously this one. <laughs> I do really like this bookmark a lot. This cat kind of makes me think of studying in our old dorm room. This cat with the lovely graduation hat is you when you're working on your grad school stuff. Possibly it's actually this one because you have a lot of writing to do in the years coming ahead of you. Or this one, another cat who writes. This cat, inexplicably in a boat and kind of just reminds me of a rabbit. This cat is either like dancing or just chucking that book, which is very relatable to a younger syntax. So maybe this one should be my favorite actually. In another little book related tidbit from this week, I was looking at A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank, which like don't think I've started to read it. I absolutely have not yet. Uh, I'm still procrastinating, but one day, one of these days. But I did notice that in this fun little disclaimer I like to look look for in books. I mean, usually this is all very like cut and dry and normal and this one for the most part, pretty standard. However, Hank, Hank did want to note that any resemblance to actual monkeys is entirely coincidental. Are there monkeys in this book? Probably I should read it. You've already said that. You already knew this. Maybe you knew about the monkeys? I don't know. Let me know. Hope you're having a good week, Alex.